So about two weeks ago, the YouTuber Punk Duck went to Twitter to accuse his ex-partner Yojin, who is also the popular animation YouTuber Squizzy, of abuse. The consensus around this has been overwhelmingly positive in Punk Duck's favor, to the point where over 20,000 people decided to unsubscribe from Squizzy. But despite this backlash, we had no response from Yojin. So a week after Punk Duck posted the allegations, he made a follow-up tweet that says, It's been a week now, and still radio silence. At this point, I assume he Yojin is waiting for this to blow over so people forget. Not surprised, honestly. As for me, I'm moving on. This is the last time I'll speak about this, and I want to put it behind me for good. Whether there's a response or not, whether people believe me or not, I don't care. I wanted my friends and family to know about my three-year-long dick-flattening torture, and that's what I got. To everyone who reached out, Thank you. It's been really nice knowing I'm not alone. So a couple days after this tweet came out, there was still no response from Hyojin. And with us approaching the two week mark of the allegations coming out, it seemed like Hyojin was going to completely ignore this. But then yesterday, seemingly out of the blue, she decided to finally respond to the allegations on Twitter. The post reads out, Hey, Ed, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I've been going to therapy for a bit and I'm still on that journey. I've seen progress in myself, but I still want to push for more change. I'm sorry for not making that change earlier. It would have prevented so much pain that I caused. I'm sorry. Ed had every right to post this, because victims are allowed to talk about their abusers, especially if it will help with the healing process. I'm not saying that this fixes everything, of course. I just know it needed to be posted. This is all completely fair and justified. I felt like my private apology to Ed was sincere, but I get why it didn't come across that way, and my snap reaction was just me being a cunt. There is nothing I can do to undo the things I've done, and have disappointed, angered, and sickened people with what I've done. I'm sorry. I don't want this to happen again. I look at the person I was a couple years ago, and even if I have changed, those were my actions, and I understand that this is deserved. Actions have repercussions, and every bad decision I've made has hurt people. I know that no matter how much I change in the future, that I'll still be that person in people's eyes. I'm sorry for all that. There isn't much more I can say other than I'm sorry. I'm gonna reflect on this for a long time, and take a very, very long break. I'm not going to come back till I'm better. I just hope I can show that change clearly for people to see in the future. Maddie responds by saying, COCK BLAST! Fractal Ants responds, They are actually acknowledging what they did and going to therapy to try and improve themselves. I honestly don't think it's okay for you to post this in response to a post about abuse. Maddie responds, Not a single person in the replies on them is taking this post seriously. Like for example, Nathan who posts, Anyways y'all, check out my Angry Bird plush. Sopping Table responds by saying, Impressive plush. I got one of my own Angry Bird plush too. Yeah, I am Ice says, You've got deep-rooted issues that no amount of break, self-reflection, nor or therapy sessions can fix. I think I speak for everyone when I say leave and never return. Shaib says, It's funny you say this, but we all know the next tweet you'll make is either a bait tweet, a shit art meme, or both. Cavo says, Please don't come back to the internet. Someone like you doesn't deserve an ounce of support. Jack says, Anyways, where are my click by Adam Sandler fans at? Red Dead says, Why the fuck are you apologizing? Like, bro, go to jail. Brad Mouse says, You've had plenty of chances to be better. This is just damage control to keep what little of your audience you have left. X says, Squizzy apology be like, talking to a brick wall. Smelly Fart says, Squizzy almost stabbed her partner and now apologizing for almost killing someone. Maya Moo says, just so you know, this person emotionally manipulated and physically assaulted their partner for a long time. It got to the point where they attacked their partner with a knife. They are an absolute monster and don't deserve any forgiveness. Gia says, this is her stream highlights gonna be next upload, showing a picture of someone crying. Marka says, Hyojin after writing the apology on on Twitter without saying any racial slurs. Colossal's Crazy updates his Hyojin crying thread with their new response to the situation, and Young Crip responds to him by saying, Me reading Hyojin's apology, while the video of a monkey getting high that she got mad about plays in the background ASMR. Colossal responds to Young Crip by saying, Me reading Hyojin's insincere apology insincerely. Hey, uh, Ed. You know, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I've been going to therapy for a bit and I'm still on that journey. <laughs> I've seen progress in myself, but I still want to push for more change. I'm sorry for not making that change earlier. Yeah, it would have prevented so much pain that I caused. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
Ed had every right to post this because victims are allowed to talk about their abusers, especially if it'll help with the healing process. <laughs> I'm not saying that this fixes everything, of course. I just know it needed to be posted. <laughs> this is all completely fair and justified. I, I, I felt like my private apology to Ed was sincere, but I get why it didn't come across that way, and my snap reaction was just me being a cunt. <laughs> There's nothing I could do to undo the things I've done, and I've disappointed, angered, and sickened people with what I've done. I'm sorry. I don't want this to happen again. I look at the person I was a couple years ago, and even if I have changed, those were my actions, and I understand that this is deserved. Actions have repercussions, and every bad decision I've made has hurt people. <laughs> I know that no matter how much I change in the future, that I'll still be that person in people's eyes. Oh, I'm sorry for all that. <laughs> there isn't much more I could say other than I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to reflect on this for a long time and take a very, very long break. I'm not going to come back till I'm better. I just hope I can show the change clearly for people to see in the future. Nicholas Diorio comments on the situation by saying, three years later, Hyojin is actually a fucking abuser, showing both the tweet and Instagram message that she made three years ago. In the tweet, they say, abuse can't be something that can be swept under the rug. And her Instagram post says, a video came out about me and spouted baseless rumors without proof, resulting in me getting an influx of racist remarks spammed in my comments. Don't pay attention to these people and stay positive, please. Nick continues his Twitter thread by saying, we should have known when she said, I didn't abuse a dog. It's clear she was trying to tell us she abused her boyfriend, lol. He then shows her tweet from 2019 where she says, I didn't abuse a dog, and everyone living in that house can confirm. The roommate has a history of abusing and neglecting her dog, and leaving it up to the rest of the house. Also, I didn't cheat on Pyro. We've been broken up for months, and that's none of your business, you creep. Lawless's crazy response to Nicholas Diorio with this Twitter video. I'm gonna fucking abuse you. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on one second. Oh, what, what, what happened? Did I fall asleep? I'm beating you. I'm beating you right now. Oh, you're beating me. Yeah, oh, you're, beating you're, you. you're beating me. I'm beating you. Oh, you're beating I'm, me. I'm beating you so Ow, hard. Ow, stop yeah. it. Yeah. You should probably go back to work. No, I... You should no, get back no. to work. Going back to some more quote tweets on the situation, Hayden says, You can't unabuse your partner. Hayden shows Hyojin saying you can't sweep abuse under the rug, and captions it by saying, Come again? The guy says, Hyojin when no one believes her fake ass apology. Crit Kid says, Holy shit, Hyojin means none of this. Same shit on repeat. Literally, you will not change. This happened before everyone was tricked over and over. Hopefully, no one believes the vial coming out of your mouth anymore. Fucking don't excuse your entire behavior on therapy. Bart draws this picture of Hyojin with the infinity gauntlet of abuse and says, Dude, fuck Squizzy slash Hyojin. And then the six stones placed on this abuse gauntlet are Slazo situation, animal abuse accusation, toxicity, racism and slurs, pedophilia accusation, and being a shitty and abusive partner. I am unstoppable. Amanda quote tweets Yojin and says, Twitter is insane because what is appropriate about advertising a video game or show in the quotes when the initial tweet is about Hyojin being an abuser? And even though I didn't show it, what Amanda's saying is 100% right here. Majority of the quote retweets and responses to Hyojin are just people memeing by promoting their video game or promoting their art, etc. So because of that, I've pretty much at this point showed you all of the relevant responses to Hyojin's tweet. But if anything more comes out in the the future i'll be sure to update you on this channel so don't forget to subscribe with notifications on but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video